Um, April is Donate Life Month. It's e really easy to be a donor in Colorado. And here we have Heather Burke and Tony Young from Donor Alliance joining us to talk a little bit about becoming a donor, the need for donors. Uh, Tony, you're a heart and kidney recipient? Correct. Tell me who that is right there. So this woman right here is Cicely, and Cicely is my angel donor. So it's her heart that beats in my chest, and I have one of her kidneys. Uh, and she was also able to donate her other kidney and her liver as well. We, I was just asking you in the break about, you know, I know there's that time length between when you finally get, you know, you send a letter mm -hmm. and then their family reaches out. And then you found out a whole lot more about her. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Um, you know, the process is very secretive. Yeah. To try, you know, they're very protective. Honor of that, the, respect yeah, that. Yeah, I'm very respectful. I, it took me about three months to actually write a letter I was willing to send off. I started about six months after my transplants, sent it off at nine months, and then uh, about two and a half years later, uh, I got noticed by the Donor Alliance that my donor family wanted to make contact with me, and it's been a wonderful relationship. And what did you learn about her? Uh, I learned a lot about uh, that she liked baseball. She was from Texas. She liked going to Rangers games. So I'm sure she would have been stoked that they won the World Series last year. Uh, she also was a dog lover and uh, very much into similar music that I am. Uh, we're both very much heavy metal fans. So That is so cool. Yeah. That heart beating right now. Heather, you said Tony kind of inspired this idea, shine a light on, on donor alliance and, and becoming a donor. Correct. So during National Donate Life Month, Donor Alliance offers free Shine a Light kits. So the kit comes with a candle and a sign that people could put in their window. This year we're distributing a little over 300 kits for the 300 heroic organ donors that we had last year. So Tony inspired this whole campaign. So Tony was putting two candles in his window every night. One for each organ. One for each organ, and then he found out it was one heroic donor. Um, and here we are today. And it was actually through the Shine a Light campaign that my uh, donor's mom actually saw on Facebook, and mm -hmm. that's when she decided she wanted, she was ready to make contact. It, it's a beautiful story. I think it helps everyone feel good and, and feel whole because grieving is love, really, mm -hmm. and, and knowing where your love goes. Uh, but but I'm, the need is always there. What can you tell people, Heather? I mean, Absolutely. The need is so significant. Absolutely. So currently there are 1,300 people in our community who, like Tony, waiting for a life-saving transplant. There's tens of thousands of more people who are waiting for a tissue transplant. Tissue transplants provide hope to people suffering from injury, disease, trauma, or blindness. So we would really encourage people, say yes the next time you're renewing your license or your state ID, you'll get that little heart with the Y on your license. That means you've joined the Donate Life Colorado Registry. And I always say that little heart has a very big impact. One person can save up to eight lives through organ donation and save and heal up to 75 lives through tissue donation. Yeah, talk about making a difference a lasting impact. Heather and Tony, thank you so much. And um, we hope this inspires many more people to say, I can do this. I would become a donor. And um, just looking at that right there and seeing you, that's it. Thank that's you. it. And if people want to request a Shine a Light kit, a free Shine a Light kit, they can go to decidingondonation.org. Perfect. I should have asked that. Thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.